Hello, this is Dan Cross, and this is a tutorial on how to get rid of the white off a custom folder icon. In my previous uh, tutorial, I showed you how to make a custom folder icon, and the link will be in the description. Alright, so let's get to it. So over here is my folder, and if I open it, yeah, it's a folder. So if I press spacebar on it, well, it's highlighted, you can see there's this white edge. But if I go to my Macintosh icon and I press spacebar, you can see it's just like a perfect shape, like there's no square around it. So that's what we're going to want to do today. So for this to work, you're going to need Photoshop. You can just get the trial of it or Photoshop. Just type into Google Photoshop trial. And yeah, so first thing you want to do, you want to get your original image and just drag it into Photoshop. Wait for it to load up now. Now, once it's loaded up, you want to get this tool over here called the Quick Selection Tool. And now, with the, the your, you'll get a circle with a plus in it. I'm not sure if you can see it, because there is a glitch with my screen flow. So, but if you can, then good. Okay, so what you want to do, you want to just quick select the image inside it, not the outside. And also here. Then press Refine Edge once you're done. Alright, so now just play around with these settings so you get uh, to your likings. I'm going to make it a bit more smoother, ferret a bit, shift the edge a tiny bit, make the contrast a bit sharper. And now once you've played around with your settings, you want to output it to a new layer and then press OK. So now you're going to get this transparent background of your image. And that's what we want. So as you can see, it's got your transparent background. So now we want to save it. You want to go File and click Save As. Now you want to make the format a PNG. Not a JPEG, but a PNG. So now name it. Let's name mine um, Logo. And then just save it to where you want it. I'm going to save it down to my desktop. And click save. So now it's just going to ask you some options. I want to make it smaller so it's slow. Well, it's not a very big file so it's not going to take that long to save. So let's press OK. So now I'm going to quick quit Photoshop. You can save this. This is your actual Photoshop file. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna, so I'm gonna do don't save. So now over here is my image, and if I press spacebar on it, you can see the white's gone. And if I open up in preview, it's got this weird gray background around it. Is what we want. So now, yep. Yeah, so now highlight the folder you want and press and right click and get info or click command i so now here's the folder now open up your png into preview so it opens up here now when you see preview selected up here press command c which stands for copy and then over at the top left corner press command v and now it's going to change Alright, so now over here, you can see we've got our image, and it's not a square. As you can see, it's like an apple. Alright, but anyway, this is what we want. So now, thanks for watching. This was a tutorial by Garen Crust. You can subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you in one of my next videos. Thank you, and goodbye.